When it comes to affordable watches, brands tend to cut corners in certain areas. And honestly, it's something we've come to expect. Things like the bracelet, clasp, dial, or even case finishing. These often get compromised. And as watch enthusiasts, I think we've even learned to accept that. Seaston didn't really get that message. They read the playbook for affordable watches, threw it out the window, and packed this timepiece with everything you could ask for and more. In fact, they might have just set a new benchmark for what we should expect from affordable watches. You can get the Seaston S434 for around $200 on the Seaston website. If you're in Europe, here's a little tip. Head over to Chrono Diver Watches. They're an AD for Seaston and Suggest watches, and they ship from Portugal, so you can skip the customs and import tax headaches. The S434 comes in 5 variations. You have traditional black, blue, and green colorways, and two-tone versions in black gold and blue gold. I was feeling adventurous, so I went with the black gold model to spice things up. I don't usually like two-tone watches. I personally find them a bit gaudy, but something about this two-tone model just looks so tastefully done. Are you a fan of two-tone watches? Let me know in the comments. The Seaston is based on the classic skin diver aesthetic that's been used by many brands since the 1960s. Some of the most popular models around today are the Wolbrook Diver and the $9,000 Glass Shooter Original CQ. Like those watches, this Seaston has a sleek and comfortable case profile. There's a good balance on the wrist, and the compact lug to lug makes it suitable for most wrist sizes. The case finishing is excellent. The brushing is fine and consistent, and I love how they brush the sides of the case too. There's also a sharply polished bevel that runs down the lugs to give the case a subtle visual flair. The edges and corners of the case feel very smooth to the touch. There are no sharp edges anywhere, and this really helps add to the overall comfort. The screw down crown is gold plated, and it has a lightly engraved S. Spoiler alert, this is the only thing I don't like about this watch. The crown is absolutely tiny. It doesn't look proportionate to the watch, and it's not the easiest to operate either. The action is actually quite smooth, but it's just so hard to get a good grip because of the small size. Like the crown, the coinage bezel is also plated in a gold tone. The bezel insert is made from a shiny ceramic, and the engraved dive time markings are crisp and clean. If you've watched some of my other reviews, you probably know by now that I prefer matte inserts. But I feel the shiny inset here complements the slightly more blingy look of this watch. The coinage gives the bezel a good grip, and the action is excellent. For me, it has the perfect amount of resistance. The 120 unidirectional clicks feel solid and consistent throughout the entire rotation. There's a tiny bit of back play, but the bezel has some kind of spring mechanism that makes it pop back into alignment every single time. The crystal is a nice sapphire that has a very, very slight dome. It's a double dome, so you won't see any distortion from acute angles. The clarity of the crystal isn't class leading, but it's better than most watches I've handled at this price point. I love how Seaston went with a clear air coating instead of blue. It gives you an undisturbed view of that beautiful dial. And that's for good reason, because the dial is the star of the show here. Every single element on it looks incredible. The dial itself is a dark black with a very subtle sunburst that only shows up in certain lighting. There's minimal dial print, but all the printing on here is crisp and clean. You'll only see the Seaston logo at the top and the water resistance rating and automatic text at the bottom. There's also a bevel date cutout at 3 o'clock with a printed date frame. The applied indices are raised and three-dimensional, and that gives the dial a lot of depth. They look much more expensive than they are, and the finishing holds up really well on the macro. I couldn't find any noticeable flaws or blemishes. The hands also have that same attention to detail. They have the same gold tone as the indices, and like the indices, they have a flawless polish finish. The hands are perfectly sized for me. They look very proportional to the dial. These hands and indices would look at home on a watch that costs 10 times the price of this. 
And I'm not even exaggerating. It's hard for me to get the quality across on video, but they really look that good. Seaston definitely hit it out of the park with this execution. The blue loom on this watch is very, very cool. Seaston went with a healthy application of BGW9 on the dial and bezel. It's evenly applied and it glows like a torch. I've been really impressed by the loom of the Suggest and Seaston watches I've had. Based on what I've seen, they're probably the new loom kings of Chinese watches at the moment. As you probably guess, you'll find the Seiko NH35 movement powering this watch. This movement is bulletproof and it'll probably last you decades with proper maintenance. It's not the most beautiful movement to look at, so I'd personally prefer a closed case back to shave a couple of millimeters from the height, but that's a minor complaint. I realize it can be magical to see the inner workings of the movement, especially for someone who's just getting into mechanical watches. The steel bracelet tapers from 20mm at the lugs to 16mm at the clasp. It's a tree-link construction with screwed links and buttery smooth articulation. The whole bracelet just feels very solid and comfortable on the wrist. The end link integration looks really refined. There's absolutely no gap or play here. The mill clasp is brushed with polished bevels and the Seaston logo. It feels sturdy and the push release mechanism feels very smooth to actuate. The on the fly adjustment makes it easy to resize the bracelet throughout the day. And that's something I've really come to appreciate this summer. It's not the smoother system I've tried, but it works. Fair warning, it's going to be very hard for you to go back to regular clasp once you've tried something like this. I'm spoiled and I think you should be too. You really need to experience one of these clasps. So, what do I think about the Seaston S434? I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but here goes. This watch looks and feels luxurious. I mean, I never thought I'd call a $189 watch luxurious, but I guess that's the first time for everything. Seriously, everything about this watch is top notch. Not just good for the price, I'm talking excellent in every way. It looks incredible, and the attention to detail is off the charts. The fit and finish, the loom, the dial, the bracelet, everything is done to perfection. I don't think there's a watch that even comes close to this quality at this price point. If Seaston can do this for under $200, can you imagine what they'd pull off at $500 or even $1000? I get excited just thinking about that. It just goes to show the price markups you pay for traditional watch brands. I don't use this term lightly, but this watch really feels like a game changer in the affordable segment. Seaston just showed the entire industry what a $200 watch should really look and feel like. And it's about time other brands start catching up.